Hello, Senior Stoner fans. It's the real Senior Stoner back at you for your Luca Unicorn Dab of the Day. Today is Monday. Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me. Today's topic is a continuation of our discussion about mistakes. Today, we're going to talk about how admitting our mistakes quickly is critical. Honesty is an integral part of being a person with integrity. Before you get there, you have to be in touch with your mistakes. Denying even one mistake, regardless of how obvious it is to others, is a step down a very slippery road that will give irreparable damage to your reputation and any chance you have of maintaining your integrity. So instead of thinking about the downside of admitting your mistakes and the possible embarrassment and the acknowledgement of not being perfect, consider rather the benefits of admitting our mistakes. Let's discuss. First of all, it's more effective to fix mistakes fast. So you've got to call them out and say, I made a mistake. We got to fix it. In an organization, in a family, fixing mistakes takes a lot of time. That's one of the problems of human life. So admitting and resolving as quickly as possible can prevent countless problems down the road. Almost always, the quicker a mistake is fixed, even the smaller ones, it is able to minimize the impact and more quickly have the group recover and move forward. Yes, it may be too late in some cases to recover if the mistake persists and it never brought to the surface. We must acknowledge, admit, and face our mistakes on a timely basis. Accountability. We need to be willing to accept the accountability. You see, there's no more powerful example that you can set than being accountable. I will tell you all, if you don't already know, that I own every single thing I do and have done and will do. I stand firm and I say I did it. You know why? Because who does not love redemption? And for the most part, while we relish the fall of the mighty, we also welcome their redemption. So we know we've made mistakes, and we absolutely believe we should be given second chances. And you know what? That conviction will seep into everything you do, as long as you maintain that powerful message to yourself. Admit the mistake, fix it, move on. No harm, no foul. Next. You see, Another benefit we earn is the relief, the relief from the crippling weight of the sandbags of denial and deceit that undermine our health and our humanity. You see, keeping the denial going is like tossing another pebble in the backpack of already 100 pounds. It seems like a little thing and doesn't weigh much, but when the mound of pebbles starts to grow and you're carrying it around 24-7, it's going to become an overwhelming burden to you. So the kind of crippling stress that ends lives even. So what do we do? What do we do? We need to provide ourselves practical strategies, tools, and tips to help us deal with our mistakes more effectively. Authenticity helps. Embrace it at all costs. It should be top of mind for us with family, with business, because honesty is at the top of the list of what's needed for authenticity. And you know what else is very important? You're going to get a little defensive. You're going to get a little temptation to lie and deny when things become overwhelming. Because you can get a lot of, you can get away with a lot. The satellite offices, the boss isn't in our face. Think about it. But what's going to happen 
is you're going to stumble while talking about something because it's a lie. You're going to lose your train of thought because you didn't do the work and you're going to make a mistake. But if you're authentic, if you have your integrity, if you're honest, you will get a pass, believe it or not, for having all those things not correct because you've accepted it and you're dealing with it. You see, vulnerability is not weak. It's powerful. Powerful. Vulnerability. It seems like we've heard so much about vulnerability. But vulnerability is next to authenticity. And they're incredibly powerful weapons. Do you know that most leaders in the world every day deal with vulnerability and authenticity almost like a one-two punch constantly you see it makes you more approachable and it encourages those around us to be honest to us because they know they can make mistakes and they know that the mistakes they make are the natural offspring of more effort and they know that you're not going to give them shit for it because you know how to handle those mistakes. You know how to deal with them quickly. You know what will set you free. Admit the mistake, welcome the correction, accept any disciplinary action, live with whatever pain came from that mistake. Shut up and move on. Learn from that mistake and get on to the next one. And you know what? It is easy to do. This is not brain surgery. This, I did not pick something that only I can do. We're all going to do it. We've talked about learning from our mistakes and how important it is. We've talked about dealing with them on a timely basis. If you found this video enjoyable or helpful, please subscribe to the channel. Join the Senior Stoner family. We're now going to take a diamond hit out of our Luca Unicorn. Let's go. Here we go. Got to turn it on. And we're going on green. Here we go. We're going on green on our Unicorn. Everybody makes mistakes. Learn from them. A huge topic. I'm going to be seeing a lot of comments about this. Hopefully. Here we go. Cheers. This is a great device <coughs> because it comes with that <coughs> stopper <coughs> so you don't get any <coughs> splashback. <coughs> Puts up a nice amount of vapor too. Thanks for watching today's discussion. Have a great day. <coughs> this has been the Real Senior Stoner. Pardon me. Cheers, everybody.